Switch Station 32. Today we're going to do my final thoughts of Fire Cry New Dawn. Now what do I think of Fire Cry New Dawn? Well, I think it's pretty good, but it is what it is. It's a $50 game. It's not a full price game. Don't go into it expecting it to be Fire Cry 5, a numbered game, because it's not. You're not going to get that great big experience out of this. But that being said, it is a pretty fun game, I will say. The, the gameplay in this is way better than Fire Cry 5, I think. I, I love the gameplay in it, the, how they put the numbers in, like an RPG, stuff like that, how the guns shoot, how the guns fire. And I really like how the game plays in this one. I hope they keep going with this and not go back to the way it played in Far Cry 5 because the way it plays in, in this is way better, I think. That's one thing that this game has that Far Cry 5 don't is the gameplay is way better. It's just a smaller game. And what you hear, heard from other reviewers about uh, the story not being that good in this, it's really not. This, there's not much to the story in this, I must have, I must say. I was pretty disappointed. I was really looking forward to the story in this. I was hoping that people were wrong, but there's not much to the story in this. Don't go into this expecting to get the story with the father that you got with Far Cry 5. Because you're not going to get that experience. But, saying that, the game is fun. Me and my fiance had a lot of fun with it. We just... It's a smaller game than this one. You're not going to get what you got out of this one in this one. But what this game has and this one don't is leveling up your camps, leveling up your guns. Stuff like that is fun. Like going around and being able to not just get your stuff from the other people or, or buy it or whatever. You have to go to level your camps up to be able to get to certain weapons. And that's really fun. That's where you're going to get your time out of this. You're going to get your time and your fun out of this by leveling all your stuff up and exploring and doing all the side stuff. Liberating the camps in this is really fun. You you liberate your camps, but in Fire Cry 5, once you liberate them, they're done. The, the game starts to get a little uh, little hollow. There's not that much in Fire Cry. Once you've played it for so long and you beat all the outposts, it seems like there's not much to do but drive around and just kill the random bad guys. And this one, you can make it... You can sabotage your camp and they will come back and you can keep doing it and level it all the way up to yellow which would be your hardest level as far as bad guys go and that's fun. That gives you something else to do in this game because there's not much story in it. And Ubisoft knew there wasn't much story in it. That's why they're selling it to you for 50 bucks. So it basically is a, a huge DLC add-on for Far Cry 5. So. If you go in with that mindset, I think you'll have fun with this game. Another thing where you're going to get your time and your fun out of this is uh, going around and collecting your sprockets and your cogs and uh, going around hunting and fishing and trying to get all the different animals and all your different cogs and all your different materials. And it, that makes you explore the map a lot too. And that you're going to get a lot of time and a lot of fun out of it if you do that kind of stuff. If you just go right straight through the story you're not going to get much out of this game. Maybe 8 to 10 hours, I'd say. And if you were really, really good at this, you won't even get that. The reason that you'd get 8 to 10 hours out of it is because you're going to have to spend some time leveling up or you won't be able to beat the, the end of it because you won't have good enough weapons and stuff. The Highwaymen in this. The Highwaymen in this are better than the Peggies, I think. The Peggies had a better storyline, don't get me wrong. The storyline for the Peggies was way better than the Highwaymen. But the way the highwaymen come back, even if you don't sabotage your camp, they will come into your camp and try to kill you. And that's pretty cool. And when you're driving around, they will actually follow you and kill you from behind. You literally have to stop or turn around to kill them. And the baggies never really did that. So that's another thing I really like about the highwaymen. And there's different levels of them. And they tell you you're different. Like I said, yellow, purple. All different levels of how tough your bad guys are. One thing that disappointed me in this game is the stash. There's not enough stashes in this game. Like the stash quests. In Fire Cry 5 there's all kinds of stash quests. And that was something that was really fun. Me and my fiance really liked doing this. In this game, there's not much stashes. We uh, pretty much had them all done within the first two or three days. And to me, that's not acceptable. There should be 
for a game with not much story, that's a thing that they should have done to, to for filler is to put more stashes in. I think if they had more stashes in this game, this game would be a little bit higher in my ranking. The stashes that they did have in this game are, are fun. They were pretty good, but there just weren't enough of them. Now, there's a guy at your main camp that takes you in a helicopter to different areas. I'm sure you've seen the different advertisements for the amusement park. Well, there's four of them, all different locations, and I was really excited about that because I knew the map was a little bit smaller, but I thought there was different add-ons that you could go and you liberate that whole uh, that whole section of the map, but it's not really like that. What you do is you get there, and there's a thing that you have to go get, and then once you get it, you have to get back to the helicopter and then take off and that's your hard part getting it and get back to your helicopter and it is fun and you can do it at different levels each one you can do it about four or five times each each one and that is fun because it gets harder and harder but the problem with it is it's just not big enough for me like uh, you can do them about 10-15 minutes and I was really looking forward to that because I thought it was going to be like a, a little map and you could go spend some time with it but to be able to go into it and finish it in 15 minutes is just not big enough for me. I was disappointed with that. Some people might really like that, but I was a little disappointed. Jotten, the fun wise, the fun, it was fun. It just was too short. That's my problem with that. You, if you go in and do it in about 15 minutes, that's not long enough. And at first, when you're doing it in the easier ones, I was doing them about 10 minutes. So now the main story in this that's the biggest downfall in this game because this one, Far Cry 5, the father in this, one of my favorite bad guys of all time in a video game. I really like the father. Kind of wish I would have got the collector's edition of Far Cry 5. But I don't want to go into spoilers. I'm not going to talk about the end of it and uh, let you guys have any spoilers or nothing like that. I'm just going to tell you with this story and Far Cry New Dawn. This one really let me down. I didn't like the narrative of it. I didn't like where it went and I didn't like that there wasn't nothing to it. There's pretty much, if you broke it down and you didn't include the fight in, the story is not that long. There's not much to the story. Every, what people said about the story with this not being up to par, it's really not. There's not much to it. But I think we've seen the twins at the very first of the game and we did explore, I will say that. We explored quite a bit. But we didn't see the twins again until about a week, week and a half later of playing the game. So that will tell you that there's not much story with it. There's story going around collecting your people, your uh, your characters that fight with you. That's Them stories for them guys was pretty good. It wasn't as good as Fire Cry 5, but they were all right. You get the characters that you know from the other game, that's pretty cool. The story in this just wasn't good enough. It wasn't, there wasn't much to this story. And that's the biggest downfall of this game for me, is just story. The gameplay with, with it, I love it. I love the gameplay in this. Now, was it fun? Did I have fun with it? Yeah, I would say we had fun with it. I'd say it's definitely worth the 50 bucks for sure. Uh, if you like Far Cry 5, you'll really like this. Just don't expect to get the story that you get out of Far Cry 5. Another thing is um, when you go and you see the certain certain parts of the map and you see like the landmarks that were in Far Cry 5 and then you see what they are in this game, yeah, that's uh, pretty fun. That's pretty neat, neat stuff when you go and you find them little areas that were in Far Cry 5 and now you found them in Far Cry New Dawn. That was uh, pretty fun. And the main game is fun. Playing the actual game itself without the story is fun. It was We had a quite a good time with it. It just didn't last that long and it felt, after a while, it started to feel repetitive it, because there was no story to it and we knew there wasn't much story to it so we were doing all as much side stuff as we could and then once we ran out of side stuff we kind of were forced to do the story and then it was just pretty much over. But was it fun? I had I, I had quite a bit of fun with it. The gameplay I really liked with it. The first week or so playing it was my favorite. I really, really enjoyed the gameplay of it. It just, the story let me down. Would I recommend this? If you really like Fire Cry and you really like this, I'd recommend this to, for sure. This is a $50 game and the price of this is just going to go down. 
That's $50 Canadian, by the way. Eventually, you're going to be able to get this for about 20 30 bucks. So this is definitely worth that, for sure. What would I rate this? I would give this about a 7 out of a 10. Gameplay is top-notch in this. It's better than Far Cry 5. It's just the story is what brings this down. If it was a story was had a little bit more than that, this game would be up there there with Far Cry 5. It wouldn't be past it because it's a smaller game, but if you had the story and that gameplay, it would be right there with Far Cry 5 for sure. The Switch Station 32, here for another review. If you could leave a like and subscribe, it really helps the channel grow. If you want to leave a comment of your opinions of Far Cry New Dawn, I really enjoy reading those too.